to figure out where the parasite goes, one way to do this is that you can genetically modify the parasite and genetically modify the mouse. And what you do is you kind of build in a coincidence detector. So what happens is the mouse itself is genetically modified. Every, every 90 million times, every single neuron is genetically modified to have a gene that produces, a green, produces green, but it's turned off. Kind of think of it as like a light switch that gets turned off. And then you can genetically modify the parasite to be able to come in and actually kind of flip this switch. And what happens is that only when the parasite is present will that neuron, that individual neuron, turn fluorescent and green and beautiful. So what this means is that you can take the mouse and then take its brain and then look at slide, slices of its brain and actually find to exquisite pinpoint detail to the individual neuron where all the green cells are. So this is the moment I previously referenced. Um, so what, what this is, is you can take those, 3D, those 2D slices and reconstruct it back into a three-dimensional kind of map of every single infected neuron in a mouse brain. So this is the first time this was ever done, and I was showing this to people that have studied Toxo for a very, very long time, and it was universally a uh, surprise, universal surprise. And the reason is, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere in particular. It doesn't look like it goes to one particular region. If I look between all the different mice, all the different mice have completely different uh, patterns of this, of this behavior. But remember, this is actually kind of perfect in some way, in the sense that it, it kind of maps onto the behavior that I, that I showed, that it was quite variable. So the behavior, uh, not every, not, there were some animals that had it, that had the parasite that were not afraid of the cat. There were some that had the parasite that were, became less afraid of the cat. So there's a wide range of behavioral change. And the fact that this parasite kind of goes everywhere is actually really good for that type of, for that type of data. Because what it means is that maybe what's happening, this parasite's randomly distributing throughout the brain of its host. It gets into the host, it randomly jumps around. And that if and only if it ends up in a brain region, or if and only if it ends up in one place, then maybe the animal becomes less afraid. 